Hello friends, in the previous video we have discussed about the behavior of electromagnetic waves under unmagnetized plasma, means in the absence of magnetic field. Now we will consider the propagation of electromagnetic waves when the magnetic field is present. We treat first the case which is perpendicular to the propagation means propagation vector k which is perpendicular to the magnetic field vector b. If we take transverse wave with propagation vector k perpendicular to electric field vector e there are still two cases e1 can be parallel to b and perpendicular to b b in this video we are going to discuss about ordinary wave means the electric field vector e which is parallel to magnetic field vector b0 if electric field vector e cab is parallel to b0 we may take vector b0 which is equal to b0 z cap and the electric field vector e, e vector which is equal to e z cap and the propagation vector k vector which is equal to k x cap where z cap and x cap are the direction of electric field vector and the um, propagation vector respectively in a real experiment this geometry is approximated by a beam of microwave incident on a plasma column with the narrow dimension of the waveguide in the line with vector B0 magnetic field. This figure shows the geometry of electromagnetic waves propagating at the right angle to the B0 means vector K is perpendicular to the vector B0. Now we will derive the dispersion relation of electromagnetic waves where E vector is parallel to vector B0. For this the wave equation in this case is given by omega square minus c square k square vector e is equal to minus i omega vector j by epsilon naught which is equals to after substituting the value of vector j which is current density we get i n0 e omega v e by epsilon naught let take this equation number 19 this equation we have earlier derived in the previous lecture of um, electromagnetic waves under the unmagnetized plasma so from the geometry vector e is equal to vector e z cap we need only the component v e z this can given by the equation of motion which is m dv by dt equal to minus e dot e z where z is the direction of electric field vector e let take this equation number 20 and from the wave equation we know that del by del t which is equal to minus i omega after substituting and simplifying the equation we get vz equal to e by i m omega e z and sub putting this value of vz in the main equation of 19 we get omega square minus c square k square vector e1 which is equal to i n0 e omega by epsilon naught e by i m omega e z after simplifying we get omega square minus c square k square vector e is equal to n0 e square by epsilon naught m vector e z since n0 e square epsilon naught m is equal to omega p square substituting this we get omega square minus c square k square is equal to omega p square and after simplifying we get omega is equal to c square k square plus omega p square let's take this equation number 21 since this is the same as the equation of b0 is equal to 0 since this is the dispersion relation which is same as we get in the electromagnetic waves under the unmagnetized plasma in the absence of magnetic field vector b0 so that's all about the ordinary wave the ordinary wave which is electric field vector which is parallel to the magnetic field vector b0 and it does not affect it by the magnetic field the terminology ordinary wave and extraordinary wave are taken from the crystal optics the extraordinary wave are those wave in which the electric field vector is perpendicular to the magnetic field vector b0